Hey guys, today we have a home light weed eater uh, that will not start. And I'm just gonna go through the troubleshooting steps that I do to figure out if these things are even worth fixing. And if so, actually get it running. Well, if you watch some of my videos uh, that I posted before uh, about a two stroke, uh, this weed eater is a two stroke. You have to put uh, oil mix into the gas uh, but with any two stroke the first thing I do is I pull the exhaust off and inspect the piston the cylinder and the rings because by looking at that that will give me a bunch of information right up front if this thing is worth fixing or not so I get this plastic shroud off and then that will allow me to get to the exhaust right here All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look straight down right here, get my flashlight out so I can see, and you just pull the cord and you just look at the, the piston and see if there's any major scoring. Now I'm looking at right now at the cylinder wall on the intake side. And it looks halfway decent. I see a little bit of some vertical lines, but the rings and the piston look good. It looks like it may have got hot. You can kind of see this dark coloration right there. Uh, might got hot at one point, but so far it looks good. All right, next step I'm gonna do is a compression test. Um, yeah, you, you probably may not have this tool. Um, if you don't, not the end of the world, uh, you know, spark plug in it, you can pull it. You can kind of get a sense if there's any compression. Uh, if there's none, it's just gonna pull over really easy. If there's compression, you're gonna feel a, bit, a little bit of resistance. All right, this guy's making uh, 100 PSI, so that's pretty good. Next thing that I want to do is check for a spark. So I got the spark plug hooked back up. Uh, I'm grounding it on the top of the cylinder, and I'm just going to pull. And I can visually see a spark on the spark plug, so that is good. So put that back in there. Okay, so I'm going to prime it. You can see there's gas in the bulb, so that is good. That's We're pulling gas out of the tank. I'll push it six or seven times. It's on full choke. Now this is the kill switch on this particular model. So it's out, so it should run. Let's try to start it. Well, that started. And then it died. All right, so far that is encouraging. Um, you can see right at the end, it just it's dying on its own. Uh, the idle screw looks to be correct, but what you're gonna need is one of these specialty tools. Um, this one says Pac-Man on it. This one, uh, well, I got two Pac-Mans in my hand, <laughs> a spiral. There's a spiral. 
And on this carburetor, the, the one that is closest to the intake there, that is your low end setting. And then the one farthest is your high end. So we're gonna start by adjusting this low end. It sounds like it's, it's just running out of gas. So we just probably need to richen it up a little bit. So we're just gonna get the tool in there. You'll, you'll turn it and you'll feel, so I'm just gonna turn it just a little bit just to open it up and then we'll start it and see how it runs. All right, that was awesome. Just the really the low end of that carburetor just need to be uh, a little bit more rich. It was too lean, so of course it was just it was running out of gas, and that could maybe uh, tell us why on that piston we were seeing that that dark brown. Because if it's running lean, it's running too hot. So got to get it dialed in just right. So now I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours, and we're gonna try to start it again. And if it runs great, we'll call the customer and let it know it's ready.